Hey, what is up, guys? Tarpenboy95 back, and this is another episode of Top of Road Cars of Forza 4. And as you guys can see from this photo, we are reviewing the 2011 Ferrari FF. It is a five-seater, but a two-door. Shocker there, but it does, it's actually not a bad car, you know. It's got a speed of 8.9, very fast for the type of car it is. Handling a 5.2, insanity. Then we got a 8.7 acceleration and a 9.5 launch. The launch is so high on this car because it is all-wheel drive, and it is very heavy. As you, as you guys can see from that photo, it is 4,145 pounds, so it is putting the power down to the ground almost immediately. Then it does have a braking of 5.2. Now, the braking is kind of low because it does weigh over 4,000 pounds. That's the only drawback to this car. That's why the handling and braking are a little bit lower. If they could free up some weight in this car, the handling, braking, and speed will go up on this car. Now, what is pushing this car to massive, just massive engine in this car? It has a V12. It's got a 653 horsepower and 503 pound-foot of torque. Now, the weight percentage is 47 47% to the front, and it does have a 6.3 liter V12 in it. Now, shockingly, this car does have a top speed of 209 miles an hour. and does go 0 to 60 in 3.6 seconds, which you guys are about to see right about now. 60. That's, that's impressive. That's very fast, this car. Now... And the, the brakes on this car, it does have front brakes of 15.7 inch ventilated carbon ceramic, which is massive. It is, that is two inches, not two inches, but two tenths bigger than the DR1 and I want to say the Dodge Viper, I believe, has the same. And the 458 has the 15.5. This has the 15.7, which is the biggest brakes on a street car that I've reviewed so far, but we will probably get bigger and better. Um, it does have 14.2 inch ventilated carbon ceramic brakes in the back, and it is naturally aspirated, but also, and then you know, a little acceleration, you know, it's only 0.9 G, so it's not that high. But then you gotta think it is pretty good because it is kind of like a sedan type deal, two door sedan. Uh, it does have a quarter mile time of 12 seconds at a speed of 127 miles an hour. The tires on this car are about average size that we've reviewed so far. 245 in the front, about 295 in the back. And this car does sound amazing because it does redline at 8,000 RPMs. And you got a V10, 6.3 liter, revs out to 8,000. You get amazing sounds from this car. As you guys can see from the previous video and on this video, the sounds are just insane. Now, um, the day before, I did not upload a video. I was having some problems getting it up, and it was posted a day late, so I did have to skip a day. Um, but I did post another video of C6R GT1 at Circuit de Catalunya. Uh, did publish that one. I was waiting to see if I can get permission to put ads on it, but I just said, screw it. I didn't upload one the day before, so I'll make today a, or yesterday a twofer so hope you guys enjoyed that you guys got to watch both those pretty cool videos get to re watch the review on the 458 and the review on or not the review but uh for the le mans race of the c6r corvette um it's the gt1 car not the new one um and also for some reason on the last video uh youtube disabled ads on it for some reason they said there was copyright issues and i don't know why but oh well it is what it is, son. Ah. So we're getting two corners left. Oh, look at that hard brake on the right front tire. Last corner. Get a little bit of understeer. Cross the line. And you see the Corvette is still on top. And the Ferrari FF is in the last. Please like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Tarp 185, and I'm out of here. Peace.